Cairo Airport's new $500 million terminal is almost ready to open. When finished, it should double its previous capacity to over 25 million passengers a year. We expect a growth rate of 5 to 10 percent per year, which is nearly 1 million passenger every year more. The terminal is just one of a series of new infrastructure projects designed to take advantage of Egypt's historical and geographical role, best symbolized by the Suez Canal as a link between East and West. Ever since it was built, the Suez Canal has always been of vital strategic importance. After all, it was why the French and the British went to war in a failed attempt to stop its nationalization. And today, the canal still plays a significant role in Egypt's economy. Last year, revenue from the canal rose 23.6% to $5.2 billion, a vital source of income to a country with few natural resources. We now share by 10% uh, of the international uh, world trade. Even in the face of the current global financial meltdown, the Egyptian authorities are determined to continue developing the country's infrastructure. Of course, there is, there is a crisis today. Uh, nobody, I think, uh, knows what's going to happen. Uh, but we, we, are, we are studying all uh, the scenarios that possibly happen. Uh, and what we have come up with is that uh, under no circumstances will there be a drop in the investment that we're putting in transport. One of the principal ways the government is trying to help fund the infrastructure projects is by encouraging foreign direct investment through a series of public-private partnerships and privatizations, including Cairo's airport, which, following its incorporation four years ago as a private company, has seen its revenue double and its net profits triple to stand last year at 90 million US dollars. Really, uh, it gives uh, a lot of flexibility. Uh, we are having uh, a good uh, position to negotiate with banks, to get uh, our investments and to get our financial. It's all about teaming up with the private sector, with the specialized the private sector, uh, who would come in with the know-how, who would come in with the market. More money is being spent upgrading the country's rail network, while the roads are also being improved. Two billion dollars will be spent over the next five years. The introduction of a series of toll roads has also brought in extra revenue. Most of the 45,000 kilometers that are built, there are only about 850 kilometers that are toll roads. But those toll roads now are giving us a return of which we're able to maintain the, uh, the entire uh, road network. Another area where there has been significant foreign investment, over three and a half billion dollars since 2004, with another nine billion more projected during the next three years, is in the country's ports including the Suez Canal container terminal in Port Said. It has been very good. Uh, we've been operational for four years now, and uh, I'm happy to say that the terminal is, is currently operating at close to full capacity. SCCT is now embarking on an additional $800 million expansion, something that should also benefit Egypt's economy. The East Port Said uh, project, and that's a project once it is there, once it is running uh, with the same uh, you know, outlook that we're, we're trying to, to project, I believe that that would generate at least an additional 1% uh, you know, addition to our current GDP growth rate. And while SCCT is currently primarily a transshipment port, it is also hoping to develop more into a cargo and logistics hub. There's a clear trend that, uh, that the companies want to move into more sophisticated logistics products. Egypt has shown that the concept of privatization and PPP can work, bringing significant benefits to both the country and the companies who have decided to invest. But that said, there remains one area of the country's infrastructure that the government intends to keep under its own control. We suffered a lot for this canal. This is a very important part of the history, and the history say no privatization by any means. Thank you.